Welcome back to Devices Setup channel again and today we will learn how to set up non sir dual band 1200 Mbps Wi-Fi extender with your existing router. You can set up this Wi-Fi repeater or extender at home or office following these setup methods. So there are two ways to set up non sir Wi-Fi repeater. First is via WPS and second is via browser. So we will first learn the browser setup method. So first of all, you will need to plug the extender into a power source in the same room as the router. Although after the setup is complete, then you can unplug it and place it at the desired location. Next, wait for its power LED to get stable. Now you can use your phone or computer and go to its Wi-Fi list. There, you will find your non sir Wi-Fi extender showing up. It will come up as Wi-Fi Pro hyphen some digits or Wi-Fi Pro 5G hyphen some digits. You can recognize your extender easily because it will be an open network and it won't ask for a password. So simply connect to that network by tapping on it. Once connected, open a browser on the same device and into the URL or address bar type 192.168.11.1 and hit enter. This will take you to the setup page of the non sir extender. Next, you will need to select your Wi-Fi extender mode as the mode that you are trying to set up. Also, here I would like to give a disclaimer that if you set up this extender in access point mode, then you will get way faster speeds then Wi-Fi extender mode. We have also made a dedicated video on how to set up this non sir extender in access point mode. You can watch video given in the description. Nevertheless, on the setup page, it will ask you to select the network name that you want to extend and type its password for verification. So there, select your router's network SSID and then follow on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Once done, hit save settings and then you will see your extender will reboot. On successful setup, you will find your extender network again showing up in your Wi-Fi list. It will pick up the same name as your router's SSID with hyphen ext suffix or with hyphen pro suffix. You can then connect your different devices to this network. And in case if the setup is unsuccessful, then you will need to reset the extender once. Watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. Now let's check the second method to set up this extender that is via WPS. So for this setup too, plug the extender in the same room as the router and wait for two minutes until it boots up properly. Next, press the WPS button present on the front side of the extender for one second and then within two minutes, press the WPS button present on the router for one second too. If you don't know where to find the WPS on the router, then check the video given in the description. Anyways, within next 30 seconds, the extender will get connected to the router and it will show up in the Wi-Fi list. You can connect to it using the same password as your Wi-Fi router. In case WPS setup is not working, then it could be possible that WPS is disabled on the router. So watch video given in the description, which shows how to enable the WPS on the router. And lastly, if you found this video useful, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.